Hello everyone and welcome back to my Borderlands 2 Legendary Challenge run where I will be trying to get all the legendaries that are specific for bosses. Um, right now we are in the Tundra Express and we've just found some badonkadonks for Tiny Tina and we're about to deliver them. Adios. And Mordecai still keeps sniping things um, and constantly having dialogues which I find a little annoying because I don't want to interrupt him, but I will probably do that. Uh, they're just random dialogues anyway. Hello, Tina. We have some stuff for you. Welcome but firstly, she just doesn't want us to see her while she does whatever she does in there. Sisters, man. Oh. Take him. Take him, take him, take him, take him. Okay. Stuffed animal. Tiny Tina seems to have combined it with a high yield rocket somehow. Somehow being uh, tied tied them together with a rope. Just put my damsels near the choo choo track and set them up! Good plan, great plan. Alright, boy, let's do this! Sup, sucker? Got a very important tea party coming up, and my date is missing, and I am not going to. Don't even suggest it! His name is Sir Reginald Von Bartlesby, a local aristocrat and purveyor of the fine arts. I believe his mother has forbidden him from speaking with me. You will convince her to release him into my custody. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, You are cordially invited. Party prep. We will be doing this side quest. Because this actually makes a boss spawn that we will need to be farming for a legendary SMG. So let's go and emancipate Sir Reginald first. And then we'll be seeing the boss in question. Oh, Tundra Patrol, I need to kill you actually for a quest. Yeah. Doesn't sound like a trap at all, right? Anyway, um, that's just a side quest. It doesn't actually give us any bosses, but we are going to do it anyway. But firstly, we will work on You Are Cordially Invited. Farming that Stormfront actually gave me a bunch of experience, so I'm a little over-leveled now. I think I leveled up two or three times from that. Um, problem being, the, the drop rate is fairly low. This is the boss. After this quest is done, it'll respawn indefinitely. And, well, every time we reload the area, of course. And she has a chance to drop the Baby Maker SMG. You got Sir Reginald. Now I just need you to find Princess Fluffy Butt and get me some scrap metal from the buzzards so you can make me a teapot. Just blow up some buzzards and pick up the flamey bits. It does sound like a plan, right? Don't 
don't accidentally reload, don't accidentally reload. Oh, don't worry. I actually quite rarely accidentally reload. I need two more pieces of helicopter. And one more, and then I will have what I need. Hi, shawty. Oh, I just love it. Those those random uh, buzzard pilots humming the right of the Valkyries. Ah, oh, it's hilarious. See, that's what I meant. Oh, why don't you just explode? And crumpets. So many goddamn crumpets is gonna be a crump apocalypse. Indeed it is. And let's get Princess Fluffybutt. Not a nickname you want to give to your girlfriend, by the way. Speaking from personal experience, you will get punched. You got Princess Fluffybutt? Oh man. This party's gonna be up a chisel for Rizzo! <laughs> Also, don't talk like that. You'll get punched as well. Um, I believe we need to do the entire quest chain, though, before we are going to be able to spawn in or to, to farm uh, Madame von Bartlesby. So, yeah. And I don't even really like the SMG you get. It's a TDR, and so... Um, It, it has a, a kind of a unique reload grenade throw thing to it. It kind of it doesn't just it doesn't just throw like a grenade and explode. It kind of lands and fires randomly in all directions, or something like that. Um, but I still I don't really like it. It used to be very very powerful. It's been nerfed, so now it's just kind of normal, and I don't feel obliged to use it anymore. Obligated even. So good to see you, Sir Reginald. Let's gossip. Fluffy butt. So let's look at the place cards. That's Princess Fluffybutt. That's Sir Reginald von Bartlesby. That's Lady Tina of Blow Up Your Faceheim. And finally, last but not least, Evil Bastard That Killed My Parents. And who's going to be in that box? What's in the box, eh? Now to invite the guest of honor. Good. So we just need to get Flesh Stick and get him to the party. Uh, because he didn't RSVP, apparently. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Yeah, I'm I'm supposed to not kill Flash Stick, so Just going to need you to follow me, Flash Stick. Come on, this way. This way. Hello, come on. Darn. Come on, come on, come on, Flash Stick. How about you just die? Same to you. No way. Did I just kill Flash Tick? I may have. Don't think so, but you never know. Just want to clear out the camp. Um, the problem is I'm probably going to kill him with anything I can do, so that's a little annoying. It's Beat Puppet Master Theater! 
I'm hoping that if I punch him without a melee damage bonus, he'll survive. I told you not to kill him. It's okay. I still love you. Yeah, we're going to have to redo that bit. Um, I'm over leveled, and he doesn't follow all the way until you, unless you hit him at least once. And I don't believe I've got anything weak enough to not kill him. I may have to buy a very cheap gun or something. Uh, let's try it anyway. I think I can just retake the quest once I failed it. Yep, and we don't even have to redo the first bit, so that's good. So I'm particularly using, uh, I'm specifically using a gun that does not have uh, any bonus, bonus melee damage, and I guess I'll be exchanging it for. I think the uh, the Hornet is actually currently my weakest gun, so I'm hoping that'll work out. Come on, flash stick. I'm hoping that a single shot from the Hornet won't do too much. Just have to get lucky and not... Come on. Okay, that worked. Good. If I don't poison him, that should be fine. Or corrode him. I guess it's called corrosion. Okay, follow me, follow me. He does tend to eventually lose interest, which is why you need to be able to hit him. See? There we go. Much better this time. Good job, Brendo. Flesh stick skin suck through the tunnels as we speak. Let's talk. Flesh sticks in the men's. Getting all pretty for the big occasion. Time for the party. You're gonna be the waiter. Hit Mr. Sparks over there to bring in Mr. Flesh stick. <laughs> I bet your mommy and daddy. Yeah, there we go. When you're ready to start the party, please smack Mr. Fleshstick in his bitch face. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm inviting Fleshstick's friends too. Make sure they don't get too rowdy and break the generator. Hey guys. I shall do so. Oh, you're badass, as that explains why it takes so long. Okay, one wave left. Oh, hey, that went right through him. I 
That's a badass Goliath. Well, that was a badass Goliath. No more. No more. Well, that was quite an enjoyable tea party. Garcon, a word. Yay, we've done it. We've done it all. Well, we're not quite done yet. What an interesting point, Monsieur Fleshstick. Mr. Sparks, what do you think? No, I'm sorry I sold out your family. I'm sorry. Best tea party ever. Yep, that was quite fun. When you think murder, take Marcus Mutiny. Let's restock up on, uh, on, on, on ammo and let us sell some junk that I know we got. I'm probably never going to use that. I could probably sell these two as well, actually. They were kind of fun while they lasted, but they didn't last long enough. Already have that skin, I can sell that grenade. Okay. The teapot is a fairly good corrosive uh, pistol. It's probably going to out damage the um uh, what's its face? It's going to out damage the hornet at this point, so I'm just I'm keeping it for the moment at least. Okay. Quite glad I've got the Herald. For this next bit coming up. I also do not require this, so let's actually give the teapot a try. Now we have to sit, set up the damsels to blow up a train. Just poke their bellies when you want me to set the explosives off. I gotta do it remotely. Oh snap, son! I hear the train coming. Counting down. Ten, nine. <laughs> Burn all the babies! Well, that's one way to hijack a train. The Valky's still up on that ice shelf. Better climb that wreckage to get there. Climb the pipe to the train, or you'll go insane. What, what? Mm -hmm. That's a rap song I wrote. End of the line. And we're about to meet another boss that I will probably be farming Such in between the episodes. Probably keeping the vault key in the most fortified one. Um, this boss is actually quite easy to farm. Well, uh, you don't have much of a walk to get to it, but he can actually drop two, uh, two legendary items. Uh, he can drop a grenade mod and a gun, I believe. Let me actually check. Uh, uh, yeah, he can drop the Rolling Thunder, which is uh, another electric-based grenade, I guess. And he can also drop a Logan's gun, which is a gun. Okay. The teapot definitely works quite nicely here. You guys going to come down, or not? Uh, we will meet some repair surveyors as well here. They're a little difficult to hit with the Macromancer. Oh hey, XP loaders. Or rather, exploders. I don't know what way I really want to pronounce them, actually. 
Let's go with the EXP loaders. That seems to come more naturally to me. Okay. Let's get some ammo back. Prefer preferably for a gun I actually use. Thank you. Okay. Let's fire the gun twice. Here we have another one way travel station, by the way. You can only go back from here, not travel Don't back worry. to it. If Jack really wanted to protect the vault key, it wouldn't be on a train. He'd have Wilhelm guarding it. Yeah, about that. Oh dear. You kind of jinxed it, didn't you? It's a trap! The vault key's not on the train. Abort the mission, soldier. I'm sorry, but you can't handle Wilhelm. Trust me. Kid, Wilhelm nearly killed us all in New Haven without taking a sponge. If things get bad, it's Rain on my you feet. killed Wilhelm. I like it. Holy hell, Jack doesn't stand a chance. Yeah. Wilhelm dropped a power core. Be sure to grab it. My sensors tell me it's one of a kind. If you bring it to Roland, Sanctuary's shields may never need to be recharged again. Okay. Well, that worked out quite nicely, didn't it? Um. As I explained, I am slightly overpowered at this stage. And Wilhelm did indeed drop a power core. This one. Whoa. Never seen a power core like that. The one you got from Reese is nearly burned out. Why don't you bring it back here? We may not have found the vault key, but at least Sanctuary will be safe a little longer thanks to you. Um, Roland, uh, wow, Wilhelm. Bravo! Champagne! Cheers! <laughs> High five! So clap! You got the damn power core, didn't you? You've been warned. The kid gloves are coming off. Tighten up the big boy pants <laughs> because things are gonna get really, really bad for you vault hunters. Sorry and? about the bad intel, everybody. I really thought the vault key would be on that train. I'll make it up to you all later. Next time I'm in Sanctuary, the beers are on me. What you think, Blowwing? Okay, um... Thing is, I'm kind of at the end of an episode, and... Um, Wilhelm is not yet going to start respawning, because I have not yet, uh, basically advanced past this point, story-wise. Um... Essentially, the, the quest isn't done, so he's not going to start respawning, as, as with all the other bosses that do respawn. Um, but I'm not going to go back to Sanctuary now, actually. I am going to go back to the start of this area and start farming uh, the Baby Maker. So, probably beginning of next episode, I'll have the Baby Maker, and we will... Um, yeah, we will uh, continue from there, I guess. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.